แพ้ยาวอิตบอยลีฟเลนอืมอืมไม่ใช่ kidding guys it's uh fully it's up obviously on my page um I'm gonna show you guys a little tutorial today for Photoshop I'm gonna start by showing off my amazing background I know you guys all want it because you all don't have a trust all right I'm gonna start out you open up Photoshop and you're gonna want to open the template. Alright, now I'm going to have a link in the description of where you can download the template. You can just use it. It's a lot easier. Alright, you're going to want to do it when you, when you do your background or whatever. You're going to put out whatever you want. I'm not going to do anything now because it's too time consuming and uh, I don't want to waste my time. So, yeah. And then, for you guys that are all asking me how to save stuff, just I'll do this or whatever. Alright, that's yeah. You're going to want to go to Save for Web and Devices. Come on. You're going to want to save the background as a JPEG. And you're going to want to, this is where it comes in. You want to use your quality. If it's down here in the lower corner, it'll show you how, uh, how big the file is. You're going to want to have it less than 256K because uh, otherwise it won't fit for YouTube so if it is then you just drag your uh, your quality down a little bit until it'll go under it obviously with this I don't have anything on it so I can put it at 100 and then you're just gonna want to save it whatever you want yeah or another way to get your template would be to go on actual YouTube site my friends element site and take a screenshot of it by hitting print screen on your keyboard and you want to go into Photoshop and hit open up a new document. You can just hit Control N, and it'll already have your preset for the screenshot size. And you want to hit Paste or just Control V, and it'll paste. It'll post up the page just like that. And you can take the uh, the rectangle tool from the custom shapes and just kind of follow the size or the width of the tables and you can just kind of do it like that and whatever you want basically and then just delete that later and then save it as your template so you know at least where the tables are going to be on uh so you can make your own little preset template whatever you want to call it and then now I'm going to show you template for your Xbox dashboard background. You can just open that up. I'll have a link in the description as well. And basically this orange space is going to be covered up by crap on Xbox and the white spot is going to be the spot that you show. And basically you do whatever you want in here. You just delete, get rid of that. Ah, crap. And then your gamer picture is going to be right here, basically. And a little bit is going to cover up right here. So when you're doing that, make sure that you're going to be able to read the text. And it's not going to... Whatever you put on, it's not going to be hidden by your little gamer picture up here. Your party, the people that are in your party or whatever. Just uh, keep that in mind. Alright. And, uh, well, that's about it. Alright. It's been about a loaded. Oh my god. I'm happy to help you guys. And, uh, just tell me whatever I need to do what tutorials I need to make, whatever, just uh, let me know, leave comments.